Hey there, Virgo. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. How are you guys? Welcome back to another 24 hour love reading. All right, Virgo, let's see what's going on um, for you. Virgo Sun, Moon Rising, Venus. This channel is strictly for Virgos. Okay. And we're going to take a look at your person, past energy. Okay, we have Leo and then present. Oh, the Hierophant Taurus, the Eight of Swords, the Future. Oh, the Ace of Cups. Okay, what is, okay, Sagittarius Energy, Temperance. Why is my hair sticking to these cards? Wow, what? The Eight of Wands, okay. All right, Virgo, what is going on with you guys? Hold on, I get like a piece of hair here. Okay, let's take a look, Virgo. Let's see what the love messages are for you for the next 24 hours. Okay, worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life, Virgo. And there we go. Temperance, divine timing. Hold on, let me move these. I gotta, I gotta find a place to put these so you can see them. All right, what else? What else does Virgo need to know here? <clears throat> oh, look, you got this yesterday, chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. Wow, okay. Same as yesterday. What's this? Wow, calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, visualizations help bring you together. Your soulmate is either calling you or you're calling them. Ring, ring. You're going to hear their ringtone alert and just get goose pimply. Ring, ring. Okay. You've been praying, Virgo. You have been visualizing. You both have. It's worth it to wait for this person because the love is real. It's true. It's there. This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner that you seek. Who is this person? Okay, it could be one of those signs that I mentioned. It doesn't have to be. Let's see. Okay, past position. So I feel like your person in the past was kind of a stalemate situation and then some type of opportunity presented itself. Okay, let's take a look at the energy for that. Okay. Okay. It was a stalemate until some type of energy. I feel like your person was always stalemating relationships, you know, or dating or whatever. They can never really make up their mind. They know they, it's like they knew in the past they needed to like make a compromise or make some kind of decision. But I felt like they, you know, couldn't make any kind of decision. They, it felt like they were always like uh, in this undecided, too much information, you know, confused, um, they never could commit to anything really. They tried, they tried, but even when they were in those committed relationships, they just weren't fully there. They weren't fully present. Okay. And they just kind of like were internal a lot with their emotions. You know, it's one thing to like commit and say, yeah, okay, just for the sake of being in it, but not really being present or being in it. You know, those are two different things. There was a lack of emotion and passion in a past, whether that was with you or in their past. Okay, Nine of Cups here. Yeah. I don't feel like your person really felt like they deserved to have the best of everything or have their wishes met or fulfilled. And I feel like they stalemated the relationship with you because they didn't feel like either they one could fulfill your needs or um, could get their own needs met, right? But some kind of opportunity presented itself. Big, big, huge. Let's see. <laughs> and they still stalemated it. Still stalemated the situation. <laughs> Two of Swords twice in the past, okay? Of all the cards to get, 
even when the love came, even when the opportunity was there, your person, I mean, I feel like you could have brought this person, which you probably did, like a cornucopia of goods in abundance on a silver platter. And they, they still were like, nope, they stalemated it, you know? And then it, it, and it, and it kept coming. You know, you tried to give it, and then universe was like, here, here, we're giving you this blessing. We're giving you this love. Like, it's the real deal. This is the real deal. And they were still like, mm, mm They were stonewalling. They were just staying independent and strong on their own, you know? They were trying to maintain a sense of self-control. They didn't want to lose themselves in a relationship or in love. That requires vulnerability. Okay, that requires responsibility. It requires self-sacrifice. Okay, maintaining a sense of control. That's what I said, the five of swords. And you're a person, you know, <laughs> they had to stay independent, like strength, the Leo, the lion, independent and th maybe they didn't want to get abused or they felt like maybe they were in abusive relationships in the past this person um just kind of like became the aggressor you know it just it feels like um they just would do the cutoff you know because in the other deck, we've got the guy holding three swords and he's got two swords into the ground for the five of swords, which means there he is holding three swords. He was breaking the heart. He was a heartbreaker and he left the two swords that were left over and he was calling stalemate. Sorry, couldn't do it. Just He just could not do it. He couldn't let himself, he couldn't allow himself to do it. I say he, but you know, she as well, whichever, okay? And, and that really, it's kind of a bummer, but it feels like that's, but there was a chemistry there between, they felt it, they felt like you could be the one, you know, and it's, it's, that was tough. It just feels like it's tough, but presently what's going on now here, okay? Your person still has that eight of swords. Your person, I felt like they had that in yesterday's reading. Your person still has deep insecurities, Okay, you got, like, that's not something that's going to change overnight. Self-imposed prisoner. They isolate themselves a lot, you know. Um, they, they turn molehills into mountains is what I feel like because your person starts with those two swords and then just keeps accumulating more and more and more. Two, four, six, eight. Your person... Your person has a fear that they're going to be lied to or or deceived again. That's why they kept stalemating this whole thing. I don't know that there's, I don't know that there's something. I don't feel like there's something seriously evil wrong with them or anything. I just feel like they have a they have like this you know, and you're building your credit. They have a, like this accumulation of stopping the relationship before it goes anywhere. They still struggle with that. However. There's some kind of change happening here in the present. <clears throat> There's focused energy. And what is the focus on conforming? The focus is on conforming. That two of pentacles is looking. It does. So it says weighing options, but I like to look at it like this. You know, this, this guy here is like, look at the sea and the ships all around him. It's chaotic. It's an emotional roller coaster. There's so much activity happening here in the emotions, but he's standing still on that rock and he is balancing these pentacles, which would be like a juggler. Did you ever see a juggler? You know, that juggler is very focused on keeping those balls up in the air. He's not looking at you unless he's like extraordinarily professional, but usually they're looking at the balls. You know, that's extreme focus and extreme commitment that no matter what is going on the, the water here, the emotions like rocking back and forth, these ships on the waves, you know, that 
tumultuous activity. He is standing still and solid, and he's he's not only juggling here and balancing things, but he's also balancing himself, like on one leg. Like what an artist, <laughs> you know? It takes a you know like really a lot of skill, and I feel like your person is very focused now on trying to make this work with you or will be like and well it's in the present right um so that could be at any time remember this this last part is the future so this is like going forward and out you know upon the horizon um so let's see here okay queen of wands taking bold bold steps here with you virgo because you present you know somehow they view your person views you in that fiery energy doesn't matter what the fact that you're a virgo you might be on the cusp of leo virgo or you have fire in your chart somewhere or your person is a fire sign um aries leo sagittarius but your person is like taking on that queen of wands energy which feels kind of strange for them because they still have this they have a past. They're they're aware of their past. That's what I feel like this is more so. Not so much being stuck in this still, but more so being aware of their past history of sabotaging and stalemating and being unable to decide about a relationship. There's some healing happening here as well. That's what that hierophant is. That's spiritual healing and cleansing. Seeking counsel, perhaps. Yep, for their extreme anxiety. Maybe even seeing a doctor, okay? Because the higher font can represent, like, could be a medical institution. Having this person might be having some kind of a nervous breakdown. Yeah, they're trying to um, have victory over um, their past, it feels like, habits of... Well, it could even just be a sense of self, low self-esteem, insecurity, trying to be the winner over that. But you know, I will say this, there may be a recognition of some type of, because when we have the six of wands and then the six of swords, or eight of swords, that's like a huge contrast in the ego, okay? So this person, how they make up for, I feel like this is something they're seeing, how they make up for their insecurity is to go overboard in um, attention and validation. So it can be like a bit of narcissism. It's like someone who is, you know, very, very, very insecure about themselves will overcompensate. And I feel like your person, um, it's kind of showboating, a little bit but people who showboat are usually like prisoners they're self-imposed prisoners they need to showboat they need to get that validation appreciation and attention and i feel like your person is kind of coming to terms with something about themselves here it's giving them great anxiety um cause them a lot and i've a lot of this i feel like might have been an accumulation of things that have happened to them in their life I don't, I don't feel like your person was just born this way. I feel like, well, there might be, it could be in some ways, but I do feel like they're going to try to have victory and overcome their insecurities, and they're trying to do that now, okay? Sorting through um, areas where they were very weak, and, and didn't feel worthy and areas where they might have been a little too overboard with self okay uh, and trying to get balance the two of pentacles trying to find that even flow that neutral spot you know just to keep balanced um, i feel like they're going to a doctor or some sort to deal with some anxiety issues of some sort or um maybe some nightmares or grief or maybe a bit of depression okay they're going through a lot right now virgo your person they may have had a mother that had or a past relationship that had really super strong high expectations of them that they could just could not possibly live up to and um 
Your mother or father or somebody, you know. Hmm, kind of makes me sad. You might be calling this person to see how they are. They might be calling you to see how you're doing. Okay, but look, it's all the healing going forward. So it's a, it's a really good outcome. That Ace of Cups, that's spiritual healing. That's grace. You know, the, the uh, love comes and it just swirls the whole atmosphere. You know, there's new potential for a new start for you guys, you know, but this comes after the, you know, the, this is the calm after the storm, not the storm, not the calm before the storm. Um, this is after the storm, you know, and they're in the middle of a storm right now. They're going through it. And then there's like peace. That's what that's what the Ace of Cups is. This is peace. Okay, this is feeling hopeful. Again, feeling a, a sense of like appreciation and love and a blessing being given grace and a blessing. Okay. And right here, temperance. You know, this is like all things now in moderation, you know, look at the elect, look, that looks like water between those two cups, but I call it electricity. There's an energy between the two of you that the angels have been watching over and just trying to like, keep you guys connected. Okay. Like you're not meant to be separate. I don't feel like you're meant to be, you know, even if you are right now, I mean, things happen, Virgo, your person, struggling with things you know i mean obviously you would be too who wouldn't be but there's a divine purpose for this connection definitely and it's about seeing each other you know the you know you don't even have to say anything when you're with your person it's just even a simple look can reflect a message back to your person a simple look a simple phrase, you know, if you say something, whatever it is, you know, I feel like when this person looks at you, they see a mirror and they see themselves. And there's times where your person does not like what's being reflected back to them through your eyes. And sometimes there are things that they do like, but they were really trying not to see themselves. And that's what that blocking energy is. That's that's, And they've done that with everyone. Why they could not fully, they had to keep stalemating things. They had to keep doing it because the more closer they would get with someone, the more they began to see themselves. And they had this thing with them, within themselves that they, they worried that they weren't strong. Maybe they were bullied in the past and they had to be extra strong and hold up and just be in survival mode or just hold up as much as they could but I feel like this every time they it's like they wanted it but they were so afraid that they wouldn't be good enough or they couldn't fulfill your needs or what have you so love is coming in <clears throat> from like it's come they heal that abandonment there's abandonment issues or abandonment anxiety um you know this person I feel like that five of pentacles is is kind of like worry isolation like only love can heal that and your person is coming to terms with like wow yeah you know because fear and love cannot coexist like you choose one or the other and that's it's just very simple there's nothing you know you, you know if you choose fear to live in fear then you stay fear-based if you choose love to live in love then you're love-based and i feel like um there, there's definitely a healing from ill health and that will be happening going forward, you know, or a poverty situation or even some financial loss, healing the mental worries. Like, I definitely feel like your person is going on some kind of antidepressant or some kind of herbal or something. Like this could be like a chemist mixing things up here, you know, um, I definitely for some of you feel like your person is like actually getting some treatment or some help for something that they've struggled with that maybe they haven't told you it could just be for anxiety or some something for depression or anxiety look the eight of swords again okay yeah that's what's happening here 
oh, I feel so, my heart breaks so much for this person. This doesn't have to be a lover. This could be, you know, like a, 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 a friend or um, a child or a kid, like adult or something, you know. But look, is this healing, this, this mental, these mental wounds. I just heard that Ozzy Osbourne song. Mental wounds not healing, driving me insane. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry for my singing. <laughs> but yeah, I just, I definitely feel like um, that's happening here going forward. And then positive news is coming. Um, the Eight of Wands. Um, good news. Cupid's arrows, of course. Okay, six of pentacles. Wow. I feel like this person's going to be reaching out to you and, you know, asking if we could try to make something work and what could they give and how can they help. This person was not capable of giving to you. They were not. And it probably was hurtful to you, but they had some stuff going on and, and they want to, I feel like they get themselves in a better position going forward to be able to reciprocate now to you. You won't have to be begging anymore. I felt like you kept, the reason why you kept begging for their attention and validation and love or ten, a time, effort, whatever, was because they weren't capable of giving it to you before. You know, and that's not your fault. You didn't have to jump hurdles or bend over backwards and perform monkey tricks. If you did that, forgive yourself. That had nothing to do with you. You know, that was them. They just were not capable. You were, you were trying to get love from a stone. Um... And uh, they had stuff going on. Now, some of you might have known that and you accepted that. And some of you, I, I just feel like this message here is that this person is worth waiting for. Yes, they had their struggles. Um, and yes, they have abandonment issues. And yes, they do fear if they open up. But see, the thing is, you couldn't fix them. You can't fix them. The best you can offer is guidance to show them, like take drop guide them to the watering hole and tell them where to go get their fill up, you know, but you could not fix them. Can you wait for them to get themselves? It says it's worth waiting for this person in this relationship, but it's completely up to you. If you want to just do that, you know, I feel like this person is going to come forward and, and will be in a better position to give, you know, but at the end of the day, you still have to go live your life, right, Virgo? You still have to live your best life. Okay. Um, it's all divine timing. So it, I feel like it's going to come this way anyway. There is, there was like um, a light and a spark between you right here. That was felt by both of you, that electricity, you know. But perhaps it just wasn't the right time. Let's get a couple of um, messages here for you to see what the love messages are for you, Virgo. Going off the rails on a crazy train. Okay. Second chance. This relationship deserves a second chance. All right. It's totally up to you. Or a third or a fourth, whichever. It's totally up to you. New love or recommitment to love is developing. So I feel like... If you give it another chance, I feel like it will come about. But again, if you can't, you can't do it. It's too much for you. And you just, you know, then you have to do what you have to do for yourself. You were the best thing in my life. I feel like if you leave, that's what they would tell you. True love, though. This love is emotional, physical, and unconditional. Okay, financial challenges are affecting this connection. I do feel like your person suffered financially as well or is having some financial struggles right now that they're trying to sort through and that might be part of why they weren't able to give. Oh, wow, now you've got twin flame. This is a divine counterpart connection. Yeah, Virgo. And that's why it's been hard. That's why it's difficult. Firm boundaries, though, are needed now. Okay. 
you need to stop doing the monkey tricks for this person. They need to start doing the monkey roll for you. Okay. You are safe and divinely guided. This is the card of protection. So whatever you choose to do, Virgo, either way, you are protected. And detach with love to clearly see the truth. You may need to listen to this video a couple of times if it resonates for you so you get a clearer, better understanding of what was going on. I feel like this person did not communicate that they were struggling or they had problems. Um, they may have told you things that happened chronologically, but they may not have went into deep detail about how it affected them, okay? And that's that. I feel like that's what you needed to hear because you know what happened and you can relate to something that may have happened, but you didn't know how it had an effect on them and you, how, you were guessing based on how things were, why like they kept pulling away or denying their, your, your love right? Or ran away from your love. It was much deeper. Acceptance. Everything happens for a reason. Okay. There's definitely a lesson to be learned here for both of you. And addiction is affecting this relationship. Okay. This person may have turned to drugs or alcohol or other forms of addiction to cope. Um, that could have played a role. You know, you may not have seen that on the outside or on the surface, but it could have been, they may have been heavily into it. And that just was, I don't care if someone is a functional addict or not, or dysfunctional addiction. You know, it's not what they're picking up and using. It's what's going on within them. That's causing them to need to cope in that way. Okay. So whatever their addiction is, What's going on within them that they're needing relief as self-medicating? Whether it's food, alcohol, drugs, whatever, right? That's the question. This person awakening. Someone is undergoing a spiritual transformation. Yep, I feel that here. You know, when, you, when the, this person is trying not to bottom out, right? They, like, you don't need to hit rock bottom in order to get the in order to like cleanse and start over, some people pro try not to get it to that level and they get pro proactive. And your person is like, they know they're on their way down. They know they're gonna like crash and burn and they're trying to prevent that. They're in an anxiety state right now and they're seeking help before they smash into the ground because that will just be obliterate. They don't want obliteration. They're very resilient. And they don't like to give up one more chemistry. The attraction you feel is mutual. And there you go. It, there's a chemistry here. Like I said, there's something here for sure between you and this person. It's just a matter of like getting that healing in on both sides. So if you want to wait, if you think it's worth waiting for, you want to wait for divine timing, go for it. If you don't, you do whatever you need to do. I'm just here to bring the messages. So Virgo, I hope you enjoyed this reading. Um, Please do hit like, share, and subscribe. You know, I'll be back tomorrow with the following the next day's reading. So I wish you guys all the best, and I'll see you very soon. Take care.